Hey y'all, what's good with y'all today? It is truly a great day to be back here with another video for you guys. And today, as you saw in the description, it will be a clean my room video and it will be voiced over. So without further ado, let's get to it. Now hold up before y'all come at me. Just know that this mad cow disease luster's pink towel goes through it all, okay? It goes through it all. That's my real towel on the floor there. And thus begins the pandemonium that is my room at this current moment. We got snacks, as y'all can see, on deck, snacks on deck, clothes on the floor. Now my room isn't usually like this, but I've been working a lot. And when I say a lot, I'm talking about we're not talking about overtime, but, you know, for a student, I'm working a good amount of hours. I'd say 35 at least. But as we pan through the room, we see it is messy. Bed's not too bad. But without further ado, let's hop into it and start. Now, my method of attack is usually from the floor up and then back to the floor again, which you will understand as you progress through this video. But as y'all see me going on first, I'm starting picking up my clothes, organizing them into dirty and clean piles. And uh, as I'm over there, hunched over like Quasimodo, I'm, I'm just seeing which things are dirty, which things are clean, and then organizing those into piles. And I'm not going to keep out throughout this whole video, so I'm going to fast forward through some parts that are a little redundant. I'm just using this voiceover in order to, to update y'all what I'm at and what I'm doing, what my thought process is. So... Without further ado, let's just, let's get through it. Okay, now that the first part is over, we're on to part two, which would be getting all the clean clothes, organizing those, and then starting to fold, hang up, and put away all the clothes. So let's get to it. And at this point, I'm realizing that I don't have my signature Philly hat on. Even though I'm not from Philly, I just like the hat. I'm not even going to cap. I, don't, I just like the way the yellow looks on me. I, I guess I'm feeling myself. Whatever. But as y'all can see, as I pop my little my little nugget head into the, into the frame, y'all see, I put my hat back on. Got to, especially the way my hair has been looking. Anyway. So we just go through folding all my clothes, and as you will see in this, there will be a black sock. Please pay attention to this black sock, because it will be a repeat offender in this video. So let's get to it, and I'm going to fast forward through these next parts. And I already know. I already know. Growing up in my household, I already know some of y'all are going to be out there like, you be folding these wrinkled old shirts? Chill. Chill. It's okay. I have a steamer. I have an iron. As you can see in the background, clearly, I'm more than capable of getting these wrinkles out of my clothes. They don't have to be unwrinkled coming out the dryer. You know what I'm saying? So please get off my head. I hear y'all. Stop. <laughs> but looking back at it, that little polo shirt in the corner, it looks sad. I'm not going to lie. Mm, maybe I should. Yeah, maybe I should start ironing my stuff ahead of time. But it is what it is. Just let me be. Let me live. Okay. Okay, so I don't want y'all to get bored and then start clicking off the video. So I'm going to skip ahead to where I'm folding my last shirt and then we'll start from there. Okay, so last shirt is folded and set down and right here I'm just bunching all my um, covers together and this is where I discover that my lone sock is all alone. So hop into the next step. So step number three. Now I'm going to be um, putting all my dirty clothes in the laundry bin and then I'm going to be taking that down in a separate scene and we're just putting everything in drawers. 
and uh, hanging up the shirts and putting those in my closet. So that's what you guys will be seeing right now. Now, next step will consist of making my bed, but while I was cleaning, I happened to find a white Nike sock. So I just went ahead and matched those together because a pair of Nike socks, whether they be mismatched colored or not, is better than no Nike socks. Am I right? All right, cool. So now we're on to making my bed, which if we're being real, I don't really make my bed all the time, which... You can have your own opinions about that, but I see no point when I'm just going to mess it up anyway. But for the sake of my room looking clean and when I want and when I have people coming over and things like that, I do make my bed. But typically, I won't make it. Roast me. Don't roast me. It's just what I do, you know. So this next part will be me making my bed, which hopefully we all know how to do. And yeah, so I'm just going to fast forward through this and let's get it. Okay, so this is the part where I come on defending my sheets. Don't roast my sheets, okay? Don't roast them. This is just the lighter sheets that I use when it's summertime, when it's hot outside, so I don't sweat in my sleep because I like it ice cold when I sleep. I like my face to feel like I'm in a freezer when I sleep. That's how I like it. And the other way, if I sweat, I wake up and I don't like it. These two sheets right here that I just tossed in my bed, those are the lighter sheets that I use because sometimes even the light sheets set, that's too hot. And I just kick that off and then use those instead. So please don't roast me. Now I'm going to be folding the heavier sheet set that I use when it's the winter and things. And then I find the matching white sock. So my black sock is now again without a pair. So the saga of the lone black sock continues. So yeah, I'm just picking up things off the floor now and uh, cue the very cringy transition. Yeah, embarrassing, but uh, after the transition, I had like a hair in my mouth or something. So there you go. There you go, you guys. That's what I get for trying to do a, a cool transition for you guys. But basically, I was saying I didn't know what step it was, but now my clothes are downstairs washing and it's time to start picking things off the floor and start putting them away. Simultaneously, I'm gonna begin to start organizing the things on my dresser because while I might not clean my room all the way, I at least want it to look nice, you know what I mean? Because sometimes cleaning your room can just mean rearranging how things look to make it look better instead of totally dumping everything out of your room. You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? If so, cool. If not, well, if you don't know, now you know. Also, a good dust was mandatory because that thing was dusty, cuz. see me going back and forth dusting a few things a couple of times but like I told you guys that thing was dusty so I definitely needed to do that and on top of that I am rearranging everything just to make it look a little more a little more straight a little more orderly you know so 
yeah. And y'all should definitely drop a like for any time I end with a so yeah or an awkward little way ending off my voiceovers. For every one of those, y'all should drop a like. Just, you know, because, yeah, you know? Yeah, so this part was pretty much unnecessary for me to film. I'm just organizing my cords and my backpacks over there. So, yeah. I'm about to cut this out. <laughs> See you in that clip. And for some reason, my face is never in frame, but you know, that's how it goes. So basically, in this last part of the video, I'm going to be vacuuming just to get that final aesthetic of my room to look okay. And I don't know why I make all these awkward hand motions or why y'all only see my calves or just my torso. So definitely I'll get better at that as uh, time goes on. But enjoy these next few clips. So here we go, ending off in the place where it all began. I hope y'all enjoyed this video, and I hope y'all enjoy the final product of my room, which is a whole lot better than it was starting off, and I appreciate y'all taking this journey with me, and if y'all did like the video, please make sure to drop a like, comment down below, and subscribe to my channel for all types of random but great content coming out for you guys, okay? Thank y'all so much, and I have... I hope y'all have a truly blessed rest of y'all's day. And I'll see y'all in the next video. Peace.